This book represents more than 20 years of articles and notes I've written about my insights regarding the I Am America teachings. Some of the articles were created to clarify ideas and ideals. Others were composed to share information in magazines, newsletters, and for students. When I first began to receive messages from the spiritual teachers, I had no inkling or expectation that I was receiving a body of information that would later include extensive teachings on self-development, meditation and decree, the seven rays of light and sound, healing, ascension, the golden cities, and the Western Shambhala tradition, and, of course, prophecy. My formal experience as a channel first began with a session monitor asking me questions while I was in a deep state of meditation and in contact with the ethereal teachers. I would telepathically relay each question and then speak aloud the spiritual teacher's answer. Each session was recorded. This method was a bit tedious, and I felt like an interdimensional telephone. As my ability to relay information further developed, I was able to literally morph my consciousness so that I was one with the spiritual teachers. I have no doubt that this process was realized through a mutual effort by all of us, the monitor, other students participating in the session, the teachers, and me. For me, it resulted in personal spiritual growth and the practice I received in each session. For the monitor, there was an increase in energy level and ever-evolving receptivity. And for the spiritual teachers, only they can say. In those early days, I would laughingly tell others that at this juncture, channeling reminded me of the Vulcan mind meld. As time progressed, it was apparent that we were receiving an array of information and unique knowledge. This included spiritual techniques and advice for self-development, alongside information for healing and how to use and access the energies of the Golden Cities. Since 1992, my husband and I have had the privilege to live in the mountainous expanse of the Golden City of Gobian, which contains a vortex of energy. We have traveled extensively throughout all four of its energy-calibrating doorways and retreated in the sanctuary of Gobian's luminous blue star. More about this, as well as esoteric information, is included in several chapters of this book. My first introduction to my spiritual teacher, St. Germain, was through a third party, but eventually we did directly meet. I was 22 years old when I walked into a health food store in Squim, Washington, and as I started to close the door behind me, the owner of the store pointed her finger directly at me and firmly stated, you have work to do for Master St. Germain. I was an advertising representative at a small weekly paper, and I had previously spoken on the phone with the store owner. She wanted to place an ad for a discount on strawberry jam. Twenty minutes ago, her voice had been feminine, calm, and businesslike. The voice coming from the sales counter was definitely male, penetrating, and commanding. I politely shut the door and approached the counter with some hesitation. Who is St. Germain? I asked. The store owner responded in the same calm, kind voice that I recognized from our phone conversation. Follow me, back here. And she pointed to her office toward the back of the store. I followed her through rows of neatly tiered vitamins to her office and noticed that on the wall was a picture of a man dressed in a powdered wig, waistcoat, and knickers, circa late 1700s. I felt an immediate recognition, like I had known him before. Logically, there was no way I could have ever met him, but the feeling was very intense. The store owner held her hand out to me. My name is Florence. Funny, I felt the same way about her, too. Florence went on to explain that St. Germain was an ascended master and is a member of the Great White Brotherhood. These were all new terms for me, and I asked her if she had any information that I could read. She gave me some printed literature and wrote down the names of several books. I had only been there a few minutes, but it seemed as though time stood still. 
That afternoon in 1978 changed my life, and Florence became a good friend and one of my first teachers of the Ascended Master tradition. Still, to this day, I've wondered if the voice that predicted my work for my spiritual teacher was indeed channeled through her. And yes, I did pick up the ad for the strawberry jam.